Hey there, everyone. I have some positivity to share today. So from the um, beginning of time, if I can say that, um, gaming on Linux has not been the best, right? Uh, we have had from all those little projects, open source projects, right? And all the way up to maybe AAA gaming, but those were only attempts in the age of let's say steam machines or what i say failed machines um but you know the community has uh, worked on it and we got all these uh, magic wrappers uh proton uh, to say uh, specifically and um, wine and uh, all the other uh, magical abilities that we have to convert um uh, windows based games into what we can use for our own entertainment and it uh, pretty much works uh, as advertised and why is that because linux community as you know as always um, it uh, produces some wonderful things and if there is something missing on linux uh, we as a community always find ways to create it right and this is a beautiful thing about Linux. We make stuff happen for us. So we don't really need to rely on giant corpor corporations to um, serve us, if I can put it this way. Uh, but, you know, sometimes there is a need um, because um, if we want uh, Linux to do better, to do to get a higher percentage of the market but when i say market what i really mean is it's not like we need linux to grow and overtake uh, mac or windows it's just that uh if there would be some more commercial tools available on, on linux then less users who require these tools for work and for living would have a reason to use proprietary operating and it's a bit similar with gaming right so when when we made uh, as a community I, i'm not I'm, I'm not pointing fingers it's it's not really relevant at, at this point uh when we made all these uh um, rappers right it uh, allowed us to play let's say 90 percent of single player games and a lot of multiplayer ones uh, excluding those that have anti-cheat methods because uh, in most of the cases uh, the company who produces the uh, online game which uses anti-cheat they are the one who need to enable this anti-cheat on linux so many of them don't really bother so you can't play call of duty because activision just doesn't care you can play destiny because Bungie doesn't care uh they will even ban you if you try uh so i guess that's it right or, or is it uh i have been a huge of thieves fan all the way from 2018 when the game launched uh, i played it on console i played it on windows i played it on linux uh, it always worked perfectly on everywhere i played it and they have recently implemented anti-cheat on DFTs, right and i was like oh well it, it is what it is you know uh they they, they announced uh, anti-cheat will be uh, implemented i knew what that means uh and because i have already always had this feeling that we as linux community as linux gamers uh, are not supposed to get um support like official support from from any of these companies uh, most of the um uh, emulated if i can put it that way uh gaming that we do it it, it works perfectly but if something breaks uh, we are usually on our own right and uh our community always comes up with a solution and everything um, is is pretty good it's pretty good in gaming um I, I think uh, a, lot of, a lot of this uh, latest 
um, development has been uh, partially thanks to Steam Deck as a device which attracts attention of the of the public, right? A lot of um, non Linux gamers have hopped on onto Linux gaming not because they are at all interested in gaming on Linux, but because the device itself has a has this cool aura around it and. Uh, you know what you what what can you do if uh, if gamers want something if they want a new toy they will buy it right and valve made sure that their device just works it, it basically as you know uh, it it acts like a console you just press download and then play and it works it it's mostly just magic especially if you concentrate only on green checkmark uh video games right and as i said i never uh felt that we can expect any support from any of these companies. So, uh, as, as I said, when they announced anti-cheat for, for CFTs, I, I just told myself, I mean, it is what it is. I, I play on Linux uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much exclusively these days. Uh, not 100%, right? But um, if, if I'm not uh, going to be allowed to play that game anymore, well, so be it, right? there are other games i can play uh and to my uh, pleasant surprise uh rare uh developer of the game they went far enough to make an, uh, an effort to enable uh, easy anti-cheat uh, on linux and this was um, actually a huge deal in my eyes because it goes to say that they actually invested more than zero um, effort into making sure that we can play this on Linux. And I still think this is due to Steam Deck, but uh, the relation is um, pretty good uh, between gaming on desktop Linux and gaming on Steam Deck. They are tightly uh, related, right? Um, so what happened uh, a few days ago uh, is that I actually didn't have CFTs installed on Steam Deck. And a few days ago, I installed it on Steam Deck uh, because I just wanted to try how it works uh, on, on, on a handheld, right? And to my surprise, it didn't work. And I went to ProtonDB and all the reports said uh, it should work and it didn't work for me. I did some, some of the uh, things that people suggested and it didn't work, so I deleted the game and just went back to desktop. And what can you say? Um, it doesn't work on desktop anymore. So then I realized it's it's not the Steam Deck that, where it doesn't work. It's just that Rare broke the game on Linux. Uh, and uh, once again, I was like, nah, what can we do? It, it, it no longer works on Linux and it is what it is, right? And I, I couldn't just sit in peace uh, and, and and make my peace with it. And I went to Steam forums, and to my surprise, I saw quite a lot of people complaining about this game not working anymore on Linux, which is uh, which, which was a huge surprise to me because I would say that like if Linux gaming, uh, if Linux has like two percent of the market, then gaming must have been even even less of that. Actually, some some people on Steam forums told uh, others that Rare is like aware of the issue and are working on it. And I was like, nah, why, why would they go so far to actually support Linux? It, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it doesn't make sense, but I am not used to something like that, right? And there was this tweet uh, that I have seen on their um, support page. Uh, they, uh, we are aware that some players on Steam Deck are encountering sign beard errors. This is like connection errors and the team are investigating and we will provide an update as soon as we can. Thank you for your patience. So what this means, uh, basically for gaming on Linux is that we are now sort of a first class citizen and I say sort of because uh, to this day, th this was like two days ago, it it's still not fixed. So I'm guessing they're not in um, uh, a huge hurry to fix it. But just the fact that this uh, tweet exists in this form as it is, 
means that they care at least about Steam Deck and Steam Deck is Linux, so the relation is very clear, right? We as Linux gamers are now actually officially supported by a AAA uh, gaming producing company, which is in this case Microsoft, which is even weirder if you can look at it from this perspective. But uh, th this really makes me happy, right? Uh, and in the future, I think we can really look forward to getting even more of the support like this. And uh, whether this is to thank to just Steam Deck or just Valve or uh, the Linux community or people who make other versions of Proton, you know who they are, uh, or maybe... Uh, all of the things that are tied together, uh, it, it doesn't really matter, right? Linux now is a first-class gaming citizen, and it is what it is. I love it. I love to see it.